Welcome everyone to a true classic, a game of strategy and conquest, Risk. A game where my endless brain power will be flexed to decimate all of my opponents, which in this game shall be you clowns. Whatever, Donald, so I will be blue for this game. I guess I have to be orange then so I can go first because the best always goes first in line. Donald, there is a joke I could make there, but I will be the bigger man and just say I am purple for this game. And I guess I am white for this game then. Also, thanks for letting me join this time. Hey, George, is there a reason you started in the Middle East this game? I think the silence spoke for itself there, Barrick. Yeah, that silence was louder than the bombs that George dropped on the Middle East. Jesus, Joe, you didn't need to smite his ass like that. Haha, guys, good joke now. Let's not bring up the Middle East anymore after this. Yeah, we can forget it just like you forgot Iraq. Bro, holy shit, Joe is cooking today, bro. Finally took his pills and was let off the leash. Yeah, but George is right. Let's focus on the game before the YouTube gods smite our small channel. Donald, why are you taking so many useless provinces in North America? Sleepy Joe, first of all, they are states. Second of all, it is because I must control the greatest land of all time, the United States, and get that sweet North America bonus. Yeah, but the Australia and South America bonuses are better. They are easier to defend and easier to capture early game, which gives you a huge advantage. So of the six continents, I would say North America is one of the worst ones, to be honest. Yeah, Donald, he has a point, not to mention Joe already has one of your provinces in North America, so you won't get a bonus anyway. If you think Sleepy Joe will stop my bonus for long, you are mistaken. I will crush him in North America and reunite the U.S. of A before taking over the world and winning the game. Damn it, I just had to waste a turn to stop Joe from getting South America in setup that's going to suck long term. Yeah, but definitely not as much as Joe, starting with a continent bonus. You did the same to be in Australia, which is a smart play, not gonna lie. Bush, do you play Risk? Often you seem to know some good starting moves. Nah, I only play once in a great while, but I do have a good gaming chair. Bush, your fucking webcam is on. You don't even have a gaming chair. I can clearly see it's just a fucking office chair. Oh, I thought that was just something the kids say when you're good at something for no reason. What, did someone say kids? Jesus fucking Christ, Joe, what the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, Joe, you were normal when you were vice president. Has being president really fucked you up this badly? Do you think he's bad? Have you guys met Dick Cheney? No, I don't think we have. Trust me, he is worse. All right, I think that's enough of that. Oh, it was just getting to the good part. Anyway, going back to the game, it seems you have chosen to centralize all of your provinces together. Any reason for that, Bush? Yeah, actually it is because it is easier to defend that way. That way all of my provinces are protecting all of my other provinces, you know? Yeah, a true-based Republican like you, Bush, would know. Unlike flip-flop Biden and everyone's welcome Obama who have spread out all of their provinces across the entire map. All right, it's time to fortify. This should go quickly for us. Yeah, I bet we can get this done in a few seconds. Christ Finley, it's time to begin my glorious world conquest. Biden, you don't stand a chance against my ultimate patriot army of true Americans. Well, Donald, I think we will just have to see about that. God damn it, I only get one of Donald's troops. This shit is so rigged. Just like the election. Now you know how it feels to have something stolen from you. Sleepy Joe. Now I'm gonna eat real. Wait, what the fuck is this I'll rigged get shit? I destroyed devious Don Common Democrat WL plus Coke plus ratio. It doesn't matter anyway. I still won in the end because I am a true American who never gives up. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so rigged. Finally, it is my time to shine. Donald, I'm going to make sure you don't get that continent bonus next term. Oh, the fuck no, you don't. Damn, Don, I just realized since you attacked Sleepy Joe, so much of your forces are pretty expended, so you are very open to Obama's attacks. Get ready to be blasted into being skinny devious, Don. 
Liberal fake news, this is rigged bullshit, Joe kills my entire army, and then Obama walks into me like nothing. Not gonna lie, that sounds like a skill issue to me, Don. Damn, Obama, you're really pushing us all back at once here. I never expected such a challenge for usually in our games. I am the master at board games. Thanks, George, but this was a definitely more costly early turn than I wanted it to be. However, I got most of my objectives that I set out for. Now, I think I can gamble on some secondary ones, but it might be risky. Yep, I shouldn't have done that. I have to say to Obama, that was a really great opening turn. Thanks, Joe. Now it is time to unleash my opening 5D chess moves on all of you guys. Joe, have you figured out how 2D colored pencil drawings work yet, much less a game as complex as chess? Oh damn, I see what Joe is doing here and it is a really smart play, I'm not going to lie. What do you mean, Bush? Well, you see how Joe attacked me in Argentina? He lost almost nobody, so he can move two troops back to have seven in Brazil, which is the only way he can be attacked in South America. And he has two troops in Colombia, making an attack there by Donald, even after reinforcement, an unlikely one, because he has to deal with your invasion from Alaska, which is a much bigger threat to his very wide front line in the area, meaning Joe is pretty much safe with his bonus next turn. Damn, I hadn't even thought of that good analysis, Bush. Uh, oh, I hope you're not doing what I think you're doing here. Damn, I was doing exactly that, but I got really unlucky that time, so you are safe with that continent bonus next turn as well. Hell yeah, my turn. Obama, I'm gonna throw your ass off of the greatest continent on Earth and send your armies and you back to Kenya. Trump, you dumbass, you're gonna lose almost all of your armies taking that province. You're simply crying because you know with my unending luck, I will kick your ass. Yeah, we will see. What the fuck is this rigged shit? I lost five and Obama lost nothing with the actual fuck Told you, dumbass, massive fucking hell for you. Don, calm down, it's just a game. Did you just smash your entire gaming setup over a game of risk? Well, anyway, it is my turn and I got that sweet, sweet continent bonus. Donald, are you all right? Yeah, I will be fine. Just tired of this fucking rigged ass game. Damn it, I lost almost my entire army taking Algeria from Bush. Now I can't stop Biden's continent bonus. I guess that means it is time to establish myself in this game as a major player by taking Mexico and Algeria, preventing Obama from getting either bonus easily and making Brazil more secure. A bold but reasonable plan by Joe. It is a pretty smart move that will definitely set you up farther down the line as a major player if it goes well, I think. Yo, ain't no way you talking about Sleepy Joe like that. Donald, did it ever cross your thick skull that Joe might actually be better at something than you? No, Obama. It did not because that just isn't possible for this dementia-filled pile of shit stealing Mexico from me to be better at something than me. Ah, shit. This dementia-filled motherfucker is stealing my land now. What the fuck, Joe? Hell yeah, way to go, Joe. You show those bullies who the real smart one here is. Thanks, Bush. At least one person here is my friend. Bush, why are you being so nice to his dumb ass? You know he is going for you next, right? Well, you see, Don, some people don't need to win a virtual board game to fill a deep hole in their fragile ego and instead just want to have a fun evening with their friends. Well, I don't even know what to say to that Bush, but damn, you didn't need to expose Don like that holy shit. Going back to the actual game, nice job, Bush. You really seem to have planned this move well. And by doing this, Obama will not get his bonus. It almost feels like you two are plotting to target me. Nah, I just didn't have anyone else I could hit without risking a large portion of my army. Now that Father Christmas is out of the gaming seat, it is time for the greatest comeback in risk history. I'm going to sweep this game right here and now. Damn, ain't no way that just happened to Donald, holy shit. He has had the unluckiest game of us all so far. Honestly, I think we should stop for the day before someone has to call the cops on Donald to prevent him from hurting himself over this game. You might be right, Bush. I guess we... All right, now that baby Don is back from the ledge, I can finally finish kicking his ass. I swear to God, Obama, can we go one game without being super toxic to each other? Don, didn't you spend the entire game last time trash talking me? 
Guys, can we stop arguing about these shenanigans of the last video and focus on making sure this one is bigger and better? Yeah, like how I am finally bringing free health care back to all Americans and liberating from devious Don. Jesus Christ, Obama, this Kenyan invasion has to stop somewhere. You're going to turn us into a third world country if you keep this up. Anyway, going back to the actual game, it looks like Obama has left himself open to attack by Joe in the south from Mexico. Ha! A Democratic leaving our southern borders open to an invasion. How funny art imitating life, huh, Obama? Jesus fucking Christ, Don, I'm going to shove my fist up your... All right, I think we had enough of that conversation for now anyway. It is Joe's turn, so... What are you doing right now, Joe, if you care to explain? Well, while I definitely hold an advantage in North America, I don't think it is enough for me to be able to advance easily and hold it over multiple turns. So I'm going to hold my strong point in Mexico and use this turn to fortify my foothold in Africa. Pretty simple, to be honest. All right, good job explaining, Joe. I think that sounds like a very reasonable plan. I think I am going to focus on securing the continent bonus in Australia this turn. You should probably unmute Obama so he can talk while you attack him. Good point. Holy shit, finally. Now, now you know how it feels to be censored by the liberal media. Donald, he is literally a fucking former Republican president. What the hell do you mean liberal? Can you guys stop arguing for just five seconds? Oh my God. Fine, Joe. But only because it is finally my turn and I'm going to show George the cowardly dog and Joe, the defender of the realm of the adult diaper who is boss with my genius strategic brain and I am going to win this game here and now. Wow, that entire villain monologue for a single province? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think I expected a lot more than that with that whole speech you just gave Donnie. You guys are just being greedy. That is a very average size of growth during a turn. What did you just say, Donald? Anyway, it is finally my turn and I think it is finally time I show this president what an operation for freedom looks like. Oh God, no, Obama, think of the children, don't do it again. I swear to God, it was one time I used an attack drone on children and you will never let me live it down. What the fuck do you mean, just one time, Obama? You did it so many times, Wikipedia had to add a specified part of the death list for children. I, uh, I, I don't even know what to say here. God. Let's just focus on the game from now on. Agreed. Anyway, I'm going to take this turn to secure my hold on Africa and get a continental bonus in Africa, which will act as a springboard for my eventual victory in this game by giving me the coveted double continent bonus. Bold plan, Joe. It would really put us in a pickle if you pull it off, as I will have Trump Obama. And now you to worry about on my borders, and Trump would have a similar situation. And Obama, well, let's just not talk about him for a bit, I guess. Come on, guys. It was like seven years ago. No, Obama, you know what you did? You stay silent for a bit with your Nobel Peace Prize. Moving on to the actual game, does anyone have an actual plan to stop Joe from getting a double continent bonus? Or are we screwed here? Not to worry, Ordinance Obama, the great Don, always has a foolproof plan. Is that why we had to wait a week to finish our game since you smashed both of your keyboards? Yes, Joe, actually it was. See, it was all planned to give me more time to formulate my master plan to defeat all you because even though you are easy pickings for my great mind, I still need time to turn my genius into perfection. While you were on your second villain monologue of the night, I used the card system to get a bonus army. And now I'm going to use that large army to finally be able to lift your fat ass out of North America. Damn. I never thought I would see the day Donald was finally pushed out of the land he wasted so much time and energy to protect. Well, at least not this early in the game. Don't worry, this was all part of Devious Don's master plan, and I will return to liberate the American people from the rule of the Kenyan Empire. Well, while you two bicker, I'm going to seize the United States since I have some bonus armies to spare, and I'm going to return the real United States president, none other than Kamala, Kamala Harris. Harris. You know what, I won't even bother arguing this time. All right, anyway, it's time for the Bush bonus, let's go. I'm going to secure that ever so elusive Asia bonus to counter Joe's bonus. Damn, I was hoping to invade North America, but it looks like I am out of men. But at least I was able to secure Asia during this turn, which will help me a lot in securing a long-term victory if I am able to hold on to this territory. All right, it is time, make or break. I either secure a win in this term or I lose the game, but whatever happens, at least I know I did my best and we had fun. Oh no, Joe, you messed up. When doesn't he fuck up? You could have defeated Bush in Asia and prevented his bonus and decimate Don, but you let that chance slip away, fuck. I think Bush is going to win here. 
Have some faith, guys. While that was certainly a major blunder, I think it is still anyone's game here besides you, of course, Obama. Fuck off, Bush. Okay, love you too. I think it is finally time for my revenge. I admit I cannot win, but between Diaper Joe, audience Obama, and my brother in arms, George Bush, savior of Iraq, I have to go with George every time. Oh, so when George gets a bunch of civilians killed, it's fine, but when I do the same thing, suddenly I am a super villain. They're finally Obama gets it. Why, what's the difference? Is it because I'm a Democrat? No, it's because you're black. Don your ass has until I count to 10 to take that shit back. Yeah, or what are you gonna do? I have a hundred armed security One, guards in my two, house at all three, times. What four, the hell are you five, gonna do? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here I come, you little shit. See, he is still playing his turn. I am fine, guys. So what is the plan to defeat Biden, George? Why are you guys teaming up on me anyway? Hey, Trump, can you mute your mic when you're not talking something really loud is going on at your place? George, my bad, probably Oof. some renovations or something. Wait, Obama, how did you get in here? Oh, shit. Oof. 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 Help me, someone. No, nah, it's my turn right now. Sorry, Don. I'm sure Bush can help. Sorry, Don. Now it's my turn. I can call the cops after my turn, though. Unless Obama is almost done with that whole thing. Yeah, I am just about done with him. I'm going to play my turn on his computer, though, so I don't miss it. All right, sounds good, Obama. I think you're next. Sweet. Damn, it looks like George put me in my final position to do my final offensive this turn. Although, I think I did put up a good fight. This was certainly fun playing with you all, though. Yeah, you were a worthy opponent. Obama don't feel bad. Damn, it looks like my position isn't great, but I think I can get second, though, but... Bush having Asia and Australia soon isn't great for me, and Don being held down and getting revenge for no reason is making it worse, to be honest. For now, I will defend what I can and hold out as long as I can to represent our soon-to-be-fallen friend, Obama. Good job, Joe. I believe in you. Oh, hell yeah, I can stop his bonus for next turn. Let's fucking go, lads. Gotta hand it to you, Joe. You have been a really good opponent this turn and have made this game really fun. And no matter how the next turn between you and me goes, I respect the challenge and I can say we all won in some way. Thanks, Bush, that means a lot. Hey, I'm Obama just wondering, is Don still alive? I will be fine, not that you douchebags would care. Sorry, Obama, looks like this is the end for you. Good game, man. Yeah, good game. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Hi, Obama. Burn in hell, you Kenyan bastard. And then there were three. It is time for the final ride of democracy, the final ride of hope of true Americans, the final charge, my final stand, my Thermopylae, for this well defend and this banner shall ride off into the sunset, for I shall not die defending, I shall die on the battlefield in glory with my men. Did I just watch Don lose his entire army taking two provinces while taking like double the casualties after a third villain monologue? Well, good game, Joe. Whatever that was ensured you would only get your North America bonus compared to my plus seven Asia and plus two Australia, but good game, man, don't feel bad. I may be down, but I'm not out. I'm gonna fight on until the last province, George, for my name isn't. Uh, what is my name again? I frog or it again. Christ, Joe, I have severe brain damage. After that gorilla, Obama beat the shit out of me, and I still remember everything, how much fucking brain loss you have. Don, I'm pretty sure you already had brain damage. Also, did you just call Obama a black guy, a gorilla? Shit, you are putting words in my mouth. I never said that. I may have dementia, but I remember you just said, and I quote, uh, shit, I forgot again. See, even Joe doesn't remember, and he has the memory of an elephant. So if he can't recall I said it, then I never said it. Whatever, let's just finally end this game. It is like 11 o'clock at night at this point, and I am tired, so I'm just going to try hard these last few rounds. Wait, you weren't trying before? Does that mean we all just suck? Well, Joe, for a beginner, you did really well, if I'm being honest. Obama was ass. I'm not going to lie, though. Ha, get wrecked, sleepy Joe. Now you're the one getting plowed from behind. Your what, pause? No way, Jeroz, let's ally, and we can just say we both won this game as a team. Hey, now, nah, I think I'm going to kill you first, though, because you are the bigger threat. You are right, George. He is really big. Jesus Christ, let's just finally finish this fucking game already. 
I'm going to move in from Greenland and consume Europe, then swing south next turn to wipe Joe off the map. There's no way I die before Sleepy Joe. This is fake news. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? What do I do? Did he just jump out the fucking window over losing a game of risk? It would appear so. That guy really has some issues. I will go check on him after this. He only has a two-floor house. He should be fine, probably. Although his weight might have caused him to fall straight into the core of the earth upon falling. Well, now that all of those people are gone, I do think you played really well, Joe. You have a strategic mind capable of thinking ahead. I think you would be great at some other games like chess if you want to play sometime with me on the VC, but good game, and you did put up one hell of a fight to the very end, like you said. Sounds great, Bush. I will be sure to do that sometime, but I got to head to bed. It's pretty late right now, and I can't forget to make sure Donald isn't dead tonight or tomorrow. All right, good night. Good night. Welcome to a new 4th of July special. As many of you requested a game of Risk in the past few days, we decided that we would release a new video on Risk, but in the spirit of the occasion, we will be playing on the USA edition of the map. Joe, if you need us to slow down because your old feeble little mind can't understand what is going on, since we'll be moving faster than we normally do, just let us know and I won't care, but you can indeed let us know. Donald, you are only like four years younger than me. Besides, I saw the tab you left behind for the kitchen at the White House you refused to pay off. That tab is longer than the Great Wall of China, so stop acting like your diabetic ass is going to outlive me. Guys, can we please focus on the game? It has been like a minute and you guys are already at each other's throats. Here I will go first and chose my home state of Texas. Well, since they don't have my home state on this map, I will choose California since I guess the climate is similar. Sorry, Obama Kenya won't be on a map of the United States. Don't test me, Donald. Remember what happened last time? Damn, Don is on a leash to Obama. Anyway, despite this being a more fun game rather than a competitive one like last time, I still expect to clutch this one easily because I have a plan. See, Texas being in the middle of the map gives me the advantage to pick my targets more easily. And the southern regions have big bonuses and are fairly easy to defend if your northern and western enemies can be distracted, which, judging by how you guys are focusing on regional areas this time around, I think is very likely. I already see a flaw in your plan that I plan to exploit, but a good tactician never lets an enemy know his full plan. So for now, I will just relay that I plan to use the northeastern provinces that give smaller bonuses, but the regions are smaller and easier to defend, so they add up easily. So I plan to use that as a sort of home base kind of function that will feed my armies on the front lines while I can focus on expanding south and west while keeping my bonuses safe. Well, if we are talking strategy now, my plan is to use the Rockies as a way to defend my West Coast bonuses in a similar way to Joe. However, unlike Joe, my provinces give me larger bonuses, even though it is a slightly larger area to defend. I think those larger early game bonuses will make it easier to protect those bonuses long term, much better than Joe's Northeast plan can do. Jesus Christ, you fucking nerds. My plan is to win, and that is that. The fact you were elected president even once with how many brain cells you use is astonishing to me, Don. If I had to guess who had the best plan here, excluding myself, I think Joe has a great plan. However, his plan works only short term, as the bonuses, although easy to get and hold, are small, and the Northeast doesn't give great jumping off points like Texas and the Deep South do. Speaking of the South, it is all orange to me, so no Bush ain't ever getting it, so he has to go for Obama because of the impenetrable wall known as the armies of Donald J. for genius Trump are impossible to defeat. Don, goddammit, can you stop placing your armies where I need to have to get my bonuses? It's getting annoying as hell. Your presidency was annoying as hell. I'm simply playing the game to win, so I suggest you just get good. Donald, you better not be planning to invade California with that large army you got placed there. Why in the actual hell would I want to own California, possibly the worst state in the entire union? I mean, really, the second you even type in California news into any search bar, all you get is either bad news, worse news, or some stupid chaos Silicon Valley is going to use to make our country even worse. Anyway, going back to the game, let's take advantage of the day and let's make this friendly game a little more interesting. The winner of this game gets to be the president again. Oh, hell yeah. I am going to finally take my rightful place back from Sleepy Joe the criminal. Bro, really talking like he is going to win with that four province looking ass. Uh, George, I think you might have remade the wrong union this game. George, what in the actual fuck? You can take a man out of Texas, but you can't take Texas out of a man. 
What the hell does the Confederacy have to do with what you just said? Wait, the Confederacy? Oh, I see it now. Oh, dear. George, you are one of my best friends, but sometimes I just can't even... He's just celebrating his heritage, guys. Leave him alone. Oh, God damn it. I got Trump's luck from last time. Joe, I swear to God, what fucking plot armor do you have on your armies that you are almost always able to take out massive armies and lose like a single guy? Are we just going to ignore what Trump said? Don't worry, I have a plan. Let's just focus on the game for now. All right, it's time to unleash a mere 1% of my true potential and risk on you, Obama. What the hell is bro cooking up over there making him so confident? Apparently not much. If that was 1% of his power, then I bet when he gets to 100, he might be able to take three provinces and only lose his entire army. Bro, Joe, you know you were doing something stupid when even Don's shit-talking is coherent. Just trust the process, guys. I'm simply setting up for my secret weapon. And what is that weapon? Is it pill-shaped? Damn, get wrecked Joe looks like that plan isn't working this time, so it's time for the George gas attack. Hold your horses, my Republican brother. It's Donny time now. I'm sorry, Bush, but I have no other choice. If I am going to take back the White House, I'm going to need to take that Texan regional bonus from you. Donnie, I thought we were friends. You were like a brother to me. You wouldn't take Texas away from an old man, would you? And I'm sorry, Bush, I have no other choice. You always have a choice, Donnie. It is not too late. I'm so sorry, Bush. No, Texas. I can't believe it. Holy shit, Don, that betrayal was hard to watch. Bro, Donald, did you make Bush cry? I'm not crying, guys. I'm just planning my revenge on Donald, damn it. Holy shit, no way. What Obama? That's right. Oh, God, I see it now. What, guys? What is going on? Bush wanted you to take Texas. He wanted you to become overexposed and weak so that he could swing and hit both of our exhausted armies with his much fresher armies in the eastern parts of the southern United States. It was all planned, and if I don't attack you, I run the risk of you or Joe attacking me while my armies are facing south without gaining any material advantage with the Texas bonus. It's a pretty big gamble and runs the risk of stunning Bush long term, but if it pays off, it is pretty much a checkmate to Trump and a large blow to Obama. Jesus Christ, you people are fucking nerds. Next time we play a game, it better not be a strategy game. Shut up, Don. It's time for the first stage of operation. Biden blast. Oh, shit. I did not expect this. I might be in trouble here. Why? It seems like this attack has only crippled my capabilities right now, and if anything should benefit you... Well, you see, Joe now has a lot of region bonuses, which means he went from being a medium difficulty to defeat long-term to a real challenge, because I'm in no position to fulfill my gamble that I took last time. And make sure Joe in the long-term won't be able to secure all of those bonuses, and Obama is in much the same position as me. Because if he makes a stand against Joe, it opens him up to attacks from me and Donald. So we are all in a Mexican standoff, except Joe somehow secured a drone and has a bomb ready to take us all out while we are focused on each other. Well, I was going to offer an alliance, but it seems Don has other ideas. As much as I hate Joe, Obama, you took my land, so I'm going to drag you down to hell with me. Well, lads, looks like this once again is my final hurrah, so let's make it count, my friends. Well, we tried. It was a fun game anyway. This turn, I'm going to secure my holdings in the West and hopefully secure the Midwest region. However, my main goal is to secure the Nevada and Rocky Mountain regions for their bonuses. I gotta hand it to you, Joe. I did not expect you to come out swinging this game. Well, after I lost the last game, I took a look at myself and promised to the gods above and below that I would win the next one, so help me. And so I have been planning and practicing, waiting for my turn. Well, it looks like I got my work cut out for me, but I think I can clutch this anyway. But to do that, I am indeed sorry, Obama, you did well but I need that bonus to defeat Joe. Good game, Bush. Thanks, I had fun. I have to go prepare my revenge on Donald for that comment earlier anyway, so I will probably be back in a little bit. Talk to you friends later, and good luck to both of you, but fuck you, Don. Sounds like a skill issue to me, so go fuck yourself. Well, it looks like the final choice on who wins and who dies once again comes to me. While Joe is a Democrat who stole the presidency from me in one of the most rigged elections in history. On the other hand, Bush, who lied to me, stole my land, and tricked me into a position that my defeat was inevitable, which is far worse in my humble opinion. So this game I think it is not only my duty on behalf of all Americans deeply offended by your backstabbing, but to the world to put a stop to your madness. Great. Next time we don't need the villain monologue for two provinces, though, Don. This game is as good as over. It is finally time to unleash my Biden blast. 
I shall fall a happy man satisfied that I brought justice to these United States from the insane madman known as George Bush. Don, it was literally two provinces. It really wasn't that deep. Hey guys, I am back. Oh, Donald is dead? Guess it's mano a mano once again. Who will prevail? Will Bush pull out some insane luck and clutch this one? Or will the Biden blast overwhelm George and reunited the United States under our president, Joe Biden? Not gonna lie, that was a pretty epic way to recap the situation, Obama. You should keep going. Oh man, this is gonna be much closer than I wanted it to be. Joe is gonna need a little luck to not take high losses here. Otherwise, Bush will get his chance to counterattack and drag out the game. Looks like we are at the end of the round and Bush is on the ropes. All right, Bush, feel the wrath of the Biden blast. No, my flawless record of victory shattered in one game. And Biden clutches it for the presidency. But seriously, Joe, that was some amazing planning from the very start. Great job in that game. You deserve that. Well, yeah, good job, Joe. Thanks, guys. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go punish Donald. I will see you guys later. that noise out there oh hey Don why the fuck are you here Obama just dropping off a friend no I am not taking any immigrants into my home um actually technically speaking I'm not an immigrant as I was born in this country and I follow all laws in this nation to the letter so I'm a proud US citizen logically speaking in that regard oh sweet Jesus have mercy on me have fun you two Logically speaking, seeking to Jesus for help makes no sense, please, Obama, as God is the primary individual in the religion, this, please. and thus by that nature praying to him for help would make more sense, would it not? Hey, you forgot me inside. I guess he just had to go to the bathroom. The only logical thing now, I guess, is to wait however long I need for him to come outside, because logically he has to leave his home at some point so I can continue to lecture him about the reality of our world we live in, right? Why do I hear ambulances getting closer? Hey everyone, I would like to take this moment to thank you guys for the support and for being a great community. We have passed 800 subs from 12 just two weeks ago, and I am very grateful. I am going to go take a nap as I am very sleepy. However, Donald, Obama, and Bush will be playing a game of risk while I am gone for you. All right, what map today, lads? I was thinking we do the Europe Advance map since we did the United States last time. Fine, sure, whatever. Let's just get this game over with because I know I am going to beat you guys eventually. Even if it wasn't the last few times, I have a good feeling about this one. Sounds good. Start up that game. I think it is high time I get revenge and take that fat W for myself and restart my record after the last few games. You know what? I'm bored of normal risk. Let's try castle risk. That seems kind of fun, fighting for capitals instead of random provinces. It seems kind of fun. Yeah, sure, Dunny. Same colors, right? Why, hello, my friends. Care if I join this game of risk global dominations? Oh, hell to the fuck no. Get your old ass out of here. Hey, you should respect your elders. Besides, if I leave, I will release Epstein's flight book, Donald. On second thought, glad you're here, Bush Sr. Sometimes I feel gross being around you, Donald. Let's just start the damn game before we get arrested. I will go first and spawn right in Moscow. You know what? I'm going to be the bigger man and not say it. Say what, Obama? Donald, just forget it before you start getting stupider than you already are. I'm going to spawn down here in Arabia in the hopes that it will mean my capital and base of operations is far enough away from danger that even if my dad gets through you guys, I will have built up enough to defend myself. Oh, was that why you invaded Iraq from Arabia? Donald, for the love of God, do I need to get Ben again? Do you guys always argue this much? No wonder you guys have such shitty approval ratings. Bush, you are literally a one-term president. Everyone else here has served too. Donald, I must have missed your second term. When was it? You miss a lot of things, Obama, just like you missed that terrorist and hit a U.S. citizen with a drone instead? That was literally one time. Obama, you killed a U.S. citizen. What the hell? Why didn't you ever tell me? My son, you killed way more U.S. citizens in Iraq than Obama did. Dad, why do you never have my back? It feels like you are always working against me. Because I prefer Jeb. Damn, ain't no way he did that to you, George. Yeah, we can't let that shit slide. We gotta team up against his ass. Agreed, we all have to work together to beat him here. Yeah, you're right. You and Donald? Yeah, sure. Damn, a 3v1? This might be a challenge, but I know I can take you two clowns and my failure son on in any game. Hey Obama, what is the plan here? I moved us to a private VC, because I think we should have a unified plan here. Shut up. We don't need any plans here. It's a 3 to 1, and we have a ton of bonuses already. Let's just kick his ass and win. While I agree that we shouldn't worry too much about losing due to the odds, I think we should still have a plan. I will try and take his capital. 
while Don focuses on taking Scavanvia from him. And George can focus on securing the South, forcing him to divide his forces all over the map while we concentrate. All right, sounds good. Everyone stick to the plan. Oh, sweet Jesus, nobody stuck to the plan. Donald, why the fuck are you so spread out? We said to concentrate forces. Unlike you submissive Obama, I plan on winning this game long term once we clap George's dad. And so I don't plan on acting like a human shield. Sweet Jesus, I think I'm going to have a stroke playing with you, Donald. We are on the same team here. This all sounds like a fucking skill issue. What the hell is this placement? They are either formulating a master plan or they are all stupid. Probably the latter considering who I am playing against. I mean, one screams racial slurs the entire time. The other somehow missed his target using a guided drone that aims for you and the other one couldn't invade a flat piece of land with the strongest army in the world. Oh my fucking god, Donald, why are you attacking there? Let Bush get his bonus, what the fuck? Massive fucking skill issue, bro. Donald, could you get any dumber sometimes? I thought they were allied. What is going on right now? I guess if it is my turn, I will take England since Obama was kind enough to leave it mostly undefended for me. Donald, I told you to attack Bush on your turn. Now he got rid of your Russian bonus. You are throwing this entire game for us right now. Ah, oh, shit, Bush, I forgot to defend England and now he owns the entire British Isles. Obama, do you need to get Joe and ask him for some dementia pills? How the hell do you forget to defend such an important area? Now he's like one province away from your capital. Donald, why is your ass talking? You are the reason we are going to lose this entire game. Donald, you should really follow the plan before we all die. Whatever, watch me get two new bonuses right here, right now. That was a great turn. Obama, good job actually sticking to the plan. If we keep this up, us two alone might be enough to push him back to his capital and win the game. Yeah, we just got to keep up the pressure and make sure Donald doesn't do anything super stupid. Damn, facing off against a larger alliance might be harder than I thought. But Donald is certainly their soft underbelly, so I know exactly where to strike to force them to deploy to save their ally. Once they redeploy, I can force them to fight on my own terms as I will be able to capture Donald's exposed and underdefended capital and defend it with an advantage to myself due to how the defensive roles on the capital work. Ah, shit, looks like Donald fucked up again. Wait, why? Oh shit, what the hell, Donald? Why is there only one troop in his capital and one troop defending all his provinces around it? He knows he is fighting Bush, right? It will be fine, you get a defensive bonus in the capital. Donald, in what world would a game give you a bonus where one guy could beat 10 other guys? We gotta relieve the pressure on him. We're lucky he didn't just bum rush the capital and take it easily. I'll take some of his land in England and that hopefully will make him worry about his own capital and buy Donald some time to actually build up a defense of his capital. Sounds good but costly, so be careful to not overextend yourself. Oh shit, I thought this unit bordered Denmark. Fuck, I messed this up. Sorry, Donald. Sorry, Bush. It will be fine. Just get ready to attack next turn. I'm tired of losing this time. I'm going to get that fat W and secure a victory for myself. Donald, what the hell are you talking about? What do you have planned here? A plan of victory, something I doubt you would understand. Ah, oh, shit, Donald is going to attack you. Well, that alliance lasted a whole five seconds. I knew my plan would work. If I just waited long enough, now Donald will isolate his allies from him and I can swing in for the kill. Oh my fucking God, Donald, are you serious right now? We need to work together. Jesus Christ, Donald, you are just the fucking worst. It is literally a competitive game. Teaming is cringe anyway. Yeah, we will see what you think about teaming when Bush Sr. rams his massive fucking army up your ass. Cry more, Obama. Your tears will allow my army to drink well tonight. Honestly, I was expecting to have to wait longer to take my first capital, but I am not complaining. Rule one of war is let your enemies make mistakes after all. Obama, you forgot to reinforce England, I think, during your fortify phase. Did you really forget twice to defend England? Oh, crap. My bad guys, I doubt he will advance into France itself, though that would leave him to expose, that must mean. Well, Donald, looks like you're about to have your capital stolen, you dumbass. Oh my god, guys. We have been playing for 20 minutes and we already lost a capital. Donald, you are the biggest idiot I have ever met. This is a temporary setback. I will easily retake said capital during my turn. Bush, don't worry about it. Honestly, I don't care anymore. I'm going to take as much of Donald land as I can since he is getting his ass kicked by Bush. And he broke the alliance already, so I want to benefit from his collapse as much as possible. Well, normally that would make strategic sense to do so, Obama. 
I suggest against it this time. My father is only getting stronger by the turn. And if we are going to clutch this up together, I am going to need Donald, despite his idiocy, standing side by side with us. Well spoken, George. Couldn't have said it better myself, in fact. Donald, shut up. Fine, but if we are going to save Donald, we are going to need a new plan. The only way we can get our armies that far away from us is by going through Donald's land, which means we have to take his land, however this might look unfair to you. Donald, remember it's either we come and take some of your land to save you, or Bush takes all of it. So what is it going to be? Fine, but we better clutch this one, or I will never forgive you for the stupid plan. We are walking into a trap here. He clearly wants you guys to attack and go in, so your armies are far away from Western Europe where all the big bonuses are. It is fine, Donald. He clearly is focusing his entire effort over here. So let's just retake your capital before he fortifies it to well, all right? Capturing a capital gives you like a plus three bonus per capital for units, so we can't allow him to keep it. Now it is time to divide and conquer. They are going to move in to help Donald despite their falling out because they fear me more now that I have his capital. But that means we are now fighting on my terms. All right, here we go, Donald. I'm on my way to help. This quote unquote help feels more like an invasion to me. Obama, don't go into Crimea. Why? Wait, it's a dead end. What the hell? Wow, I was invaded by my ally only for them to take a wrong turn. Amazing planning boys. Jesus Christ, guys, maybe we should take a break here for right now and go take a quick walk. Yeah, sounds good. I am getting a little stressed out right now. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to the finale of our European conquest. Thanks for the support over the last few videos. And without further delay, let us begin this video to finish out the conquest of Europe and risk. Donald, you have to trust me. It looks bad now, but you just have to trust me. Trust you? So far, Obama has taken a wrong turn and you failed to retake my capital. It feels like I'm getting my ass porked by everyone in this game. I mean, for fuck's sake. Don't you think you're being a little dramatic, Donald? Dramatic? Just two turns ago, I controlled almost the entire side of the map. Now I'm down to a few scattered provinces. So excuse me for being rather upset at my current situation. If I recall correctly, your situation was caused because you refused to follow the plan we all agreed to and then proceeded to get penetrated in the rear by my dad's armies because your dumb egotistical ass tried to take my capital? Did I get that right? Guys, guys, we need to focus. We need to stop arguing before it is too late. All right, we got this far. If we all stop and team up now, we can still easily win this. You were saying Obama? It looks like it's your turn now to have your capital stolen from you. Shit, well, this is bad. If he takes my capital, it is all over now. We need to retake either Trump's capital or your capital. And personally, no offense, Obama, but I think Moscow is the better option as we both share a border there so we can work together easily compared to France. Wow, I thought this would be a challenge. I'm getting quite bored. I should call Bill up and see what he is up to. All right, it's time for the Obama blast. What is your plan here, Obama? Are we finally going to retake Trump's capital here? Yes, please liberate my nation's great capital. That and more. I'm going to take all of Russia and finally place Bush on the back foot. And how is your dumbass going to do that? We have been trying for like eight turns now, and all that has happened is we lost a lot of men, and Bush has built up more men in Paris while we wasted away in Eastern Europe. And boom, he is out of Moscow once and for all, lads. Don't worry, fellas, when I take the W, you guys can be in the victory picture. Hey, genius, you left only one guy in Moscow, you fucking dumbass. This is why you can't rely on the Democrats to do anything. Damn Obama, he does have a point, I can't lie there. Oh, and by the way, the alliance is over. Don't act dumb. I watched you push me out of Eastern Europe, then steal my bonus away by taking a province. I know what you have planned. You want to win the entire round. Well, I won't let you. What about your dad, Bush? Don't bring my father into this. You know what you did, and it is time for me to return the favor after being walked all over by you and Donald. Now you will be walked on. Damn, Obama, after attacking all your allies now, you stand alone. How sad, what a depressing fate for a former US president. Jesus Christ, Donald, at least I won't spend my last days in prison, you criminal sack of shit. Listen, you guys, I get you're mad at each other, but I think you all need to accept that you all made mistakes and that got you here. You guys couldn't act as a team. And because of that, it is now borderline impossible for you guys to win as you are to focused on fighting each other. My son, the reason I prefer Jeb Bush is because he is a team player. You guys failed to work as a team and now you will fall as one if you feel like a team or not. Jesus, cringeworthy speech right there. Donald, how much does your babysitter get paid? Because clearly it isn't enough. 
Bush person to person, just ignore him. It's for the best. He is an actual toddler. Hey guys, Bush invited me to the VC. Oh, hey Bill, do you think you could help us out a bit? My dad is sort of kicking our asses here. Have you guys tried teaming up in an alliance? Thanks for the suggestion, Bill. Yeah, we will keep it in mind. Then you guys could coordinate an overall battle plan to divide his forces and make him unable to defend any one point. What a great idea, isn't it, Donald? Listen, just because I, in my infinite wisdom, tried to win this game in a gamble to sweep this before it was even over, accidentally caused some minor strategical issues leading to Bush taking Moscow and Paris doesn't mean I didn't have a plan. Donald is right, he always has a plan. It just isn't ever a good one. Guys, shut up, Obama. He just took out your entire army and France were fucked. Sorry, Bush, but I have no other choice. If I don't take a capital, I am going to lose this game. Just retake Paris. You probably have the numbers you don't need to destroy the Alliance for a third time. Jesus Christ, it's like watching one of those soap operas with all these unnecessary and senseless backstabbings. How underdeveloped are these people's brains that they can't see past what is directly in front of them? It's like their sense of object permanence hasn't developed yet, despite the fact they were leaders of nuclear weapons and the free world. Honestly, George, this is getting sad to watch. Obama, why are you working against us? You are going to hand my father the win by doing this. So you can backstab me at the end when we defeat him. No, thank you. So it's okay when he uses that as an excuse to attack you, but when I do it, I am the bad guy? You're both the bad guy right now. Well, the term bad guy is rather subjective, is it not? Think about it, who decides who is bad and what makes them bad? There is nothing inherently bad, it's rather up to us, the society, or in this case, the group of individuals, to decide what makes a bad person bad. If society all decided one day tax fraud was bad, or paying off a sex worker to be quiet to bump your chances in the election, or showing Kid Rock classified documents made someone bad, then the society has decided those actions have no inherent wrong. There is no natural order saying that showing Kid Rock classified CIA documents that could start the Third World War is an inherently wrong thing to do. Jesus fucking Christ, Donald, what the hell was that? The truth of our painful reality, if it hurts so much, you can go back to taking your blue pills. But I have awoken and seen the truth. All that to justify why you kept classified documents next to your toilet as reading materials? There is no justification simply restating the truth of our reality that the game is rigged and it is just the masses controlled by the elite surprising our freedom to read about classified nuclear secrets in a public bathroom. Donald, you are literally part of the elite that controls society. You were its president. No idea what is going on in their minds right now, but I think it is high time I took advantage of the situation I was given and set myself up for a victory in this game. You do you, George. I'm going to go get some ice cream with Joe. Obama, what is the plan here? You certainly talked the talk a while ago, but when it is time to walk, you seem to be falling on your face harder than Joe does. Donald, yet again, I remind you that we had a plan that you ruined. Maybe you need to take some sleepy Joe pills. However, I do have a new plan. George, you retake your old lands in Asia. We retry this alliance again, and we team up to prevent your father from securing Spain and getting that bonus. In the meantime, Trump, you just spend a few turns building up in one province to attack Moscow and rob him on that capital bonus, all right? Great, everyone follow the plan this time. Wow, yet another attempt to organize a desperate response? Honestly, it is becoming entertaining to watch their tiny attention spans attempt to formulate a plan and then abandon it because one of them gets bored like they just did. He just killed Donald. Maybe it was part of the plan, although I doubt it. Bush, really? We had a plan and you attacked Donald. What the hell, man? Listen, trust me, I have a plan and Donald just was going to ruin it, so I killed him and muted him. So my plan is to use Russia as a stepping stone to take his capital by going around Moscow and bum rushing his capital so we can take that fat W. That just isn't going to work, Bush. You're going to lose to many men and then get outflanked by his troops in Moscow. You need more optimism, Obama. I am great at this game. You were saying, God damn it, Bush, I think that move lost us the game. Don't feel bad, guys. You guys threw this game a long time ago. That was just one blunder added to a sea of mistakes, blunders, failures, and misfortune. So you guys should feel bad to be honest because that was some of the worst gameplay I've ever seen in my life. 
Well, I don't think he has enough men to reach all the way to your capital thanks to you defending Armenia, so we should be fine for a few more turns. Yeah, he will have to fight a slog in the Middle East and Russia, which will give us some time to regroup, make a new plan, and recover. God, please know, I can't take one more of your brain-dead plans, my son. Everything you did this game was incoherent and sloppy. I can't take any more. I was trying to be nice and give you guys a chance. But since you are forcing my hand here, Obama forgot to defend the Balkans' path to Greece. You forgot to defend Greece, and you forgot to defend your capital leaving a nice opening for me to walk in with my armies and just take the capital and end the game. Well, um, shit. Wow, this is why you don't kill your best player so early in the game, George. Donald, just shut your damn mouth. I have to make a phone. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of President's Play Risk. Today, we will be playing the 70% conquest game mode on the Central America map because we got multiple requests from you guys to play on that map. I have decided to change a game rule while nobody was looking because I want this to test our true skills to the maximum before we go to the tournament. The placement of our troops will be luck-based and done by the game's AI system, and we must fight to survive from there. Got it? Great good luck, everyone. And Wait, I want to be white this time, George. And why the hell is that Donald is there an issue with things other than the color white? Obama, chill out. You are already facing the barrel of a life sentence for Palm Beach. It took all my corrupt friends together to keep you out of prison for that incident a few days ago. All right, so to recap, Donald is white, I am orange, Obama is purple, and Joe is blue, is that correct? Okay, great, so my plan here is to bring Mexico together and the use that to swing north, taking out Trump in the south, and then swing north to take out Obama and Biden. Hell now, Bush, I'm gonna sweep North America and then swing south for your ass since North America has such a large bonus together. Obama, have you ever not been the first one out of one our competitions? At least he wins unlike you, Mr. Get Out, every time after trash talking, Donald. Don't take that as a compliment either, Donald. You lose every damn time as well. Lose every damn time. I am tired of losing. It is time for my redemption arc. I, Donald J. Trump, will win this game with the power of guns, the sword, and most of all, my unending intelligence. Oh, wow. Bush already has a bonus, Donald, so I don't think your unending intelligence has come out yet, but tell me when it does. I certainly know he has his unending need to eat every little thing in front of him. And you have an unending need to make everyone under the age of 18 feel uncomfortable. Well, let's end this here before the YouTube gods strike this video with the big stick of demonization. No way, Donald just secured the South America bonus. Already, damn it, I am in trouble. Why did the AI spread me out so much this time? Why can I never just get a tiny bit of luck in this game? Sounds like a bit of a skill issue to me. You can cry about it while I secure Canada and get that sweet, juicy regional bonus. Biden, you idiot, you need to take all of Canada, not just Central Canada, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and Labrador, all are held by me or Obama. What do you mean, secure Canada, this turn? Bush, you of all people should see a setup for a plan here, but since Trump has been playing actually well today, I don't want to reveal my whole plan, but just know it involves two regions with one turn soon. Took long enough, why can't we ever play a real-time game? I am getting tired of this turn-based crap watching you people fumble around like a bunch of animals in a barn while my genius wastes away. I think I lose brain cells every time I play with you clowns. Trump, I get you want to lose as fast as possible, but calm down. There is no reason to get all annoying because you can't wait your turn because your daddy spoiled you as a kid and made you into the pretentious jerk you are today. Obama's rage level has increased. Joe, get to DEFCON 3. On it, let me go inform my generals that we need to prepare for another possible attack. Hold on, guys. I will be AFK for a second. I need to get to the bunker before Obama turns into war crime man again. War crime man was my favorite supervillain when growing up the way he used drones in Yemen was downright evil. Okay, we need to stop. I can sense the YouTube gods getting closer to taking down this channel. Changing the topic, Joe got all of Canada already. Obama, can you explain how you only have one province left again? We have been playing for less than 12 minutes at this point. I, uh, whoops, this might be an oopsie on my part. Hey guys, check out this magic trick. Now you see Obama, now you don't. Ha ha ha, very funny Joe, check this out. Now you see the Capitol, now you don't. Jesus Christ, what was that? Joe, are you okay? 
Yeah, I will be fine. I was hit by some shrapnel by the Secret Service, got me to the basement before it got serious. Was that the Mark Rober song playing? Oh my God, no. Did Obama hire Mark Rober to make a military C-130 capable of taking out Washington, D.C.? I can't believe Obama would do this over a video game. We are just glad you made it out of there. Obama really on his villain arc today. You guys are overreacting. It was a single C-130 gunship. It's not like I destroyed America. Um, actually, logically speaking, you did destroy the country, but you did it during your presidency using the fact that you destroyed the country with the logic that you destroyed the country. We can summarize into a fact-based theory that you destroyed the country. You guys can thank me later. Let's just finish this game up already. No more strikes against civilian targets, just a good old-fashioned board game. Trump is right, and I'm going to repay the favor by taking over the Northeast like I did in my victory during the USA map. So it should theoretically combine with the Canada strategy work to the same effect. Is nobody else going to acknowledge Mark Rober made a C-130 in his backyard? Bush, you made a fatal mistake. Now you're going to pay for it. Cuba can invade Yucatan so I can steal your bonus away from you and make you suffer for your offensive strategies. So I guess we aren't going to mention it. George, I hate to do this to you, but yeah, you made a fatal mistake. You are far to overexposed, and I can easily overtake you here, so say goodbye to all of your bonuses in the area. Well, shit, I think I lost this one, lads. Good game, as always, and I wish Donald and Joe luck. Luck is for losers who can't use pure skill to clutch the uncatchable dream and pursue that dream into the pits of hell. Well, Donald, just you and me, it's 2020 all over again. Guys, I'm still here. I just admitted defeat. Shut up, Bush. This is the winner's voice chat. Go back with Obama to the war criminal voice chat. Imagine only having two provinces left. I got this one in the bag. I practically own all of North America. You say that as if you're going to win, when in reality you are a doomed little child holding on for dear life while crying his eyes out. The reality of the situation is Mexico, Central America, and South America have larger bonuses than what you have, and I planned it from the start. So instead of focusing on New England or anything, I focused on Mexico and keeping that lane of victory open, and you have fallen directly into my trap. I so carefully laid this victory is mine and will forever be mine, for Bush is blocking your bonus in the South, and I have my big bonuses free. So you are at the massive disadvantage, not to mention you already owning over half the map, despite owning less troops than me, meaning you are overexposed and doomed to fail. It's over, feel bad, cry about it and die. Well, even I have to hand it to you, Trump. You knew what you were doing. You had a plan and you executed it perfectly. You earned this win and I congratulate you, even though I lost. I am glad I was taken out by someone who had planned it from the start instead of Obama running around like a madman. Don't count me out yet. I still have a turn to launch a counteroffensive. Just give me a little bit to plan my next move. I may be down for the count, but I ain't out of the fight yet. Oh, you poor innocent soul. There won't be a next turn. We are on 70% conquest mode, and I just captured Bush, which means I get his cards, which means I get to redeem them, which was part of my plan, which means now I have a massive troop boost to capture as much of your completely undefended land as possible and take 70% of the map and establish my victory. Well, it is all up to Lady Luck now, and I pray to her to save me from this orange refrigerator-looking asshole. Cry all you want, your tears will only go into the steam engine of my great war machine that is plowing you harder than Obama plowed over those low-income neighborhoods to build new oil pipelines. Don't make me call Secret Service to deport you to the gym. Holy shit, this is a new level of disrespect, Joe. You can't be taking that from that fridge. And Trump takes the W, as always, let's go, lads. You better sub right now or I will deport you. Special event, the Presidential Risk Tournament, hosted by Ben Shapiro and played by me, Obama, Trump, Clinton, and Bush Sr., oh yeah, and Bush Jr. I would like to thank everyone for their support and for helping this channel grow at such an amazing pace. You guys are an amazing community that has helped me make these daily videos that take several hours to make, so thank you. Yeah, you guys are epic. Let's get this thing started. Yeah, I gotta take this win and leave. I have to rent a new warehouse for all of my trophies today. I got this one in the bag, but most of all, we all agree that we can't let Bush Sr. win, right? Yeah, of course we agree to that. I was the one that made sure I got it through your heads after the last game. Wait, what happened in the last game you played against your dad, George? Forget the last few games. Let's have a nice, fair, fun game, all right, lads? All righty then. Now that we got the introductions out of the way, let me introduce the game itself. This game will be a capital conquest game mode, meaning your objective is to capture the capital or castle of all the other players while holding and defending the capitals or castles you already own. 
Oh, yeah. And for colors, just so it is clear, Joe Biden is blue like always. Obama is purple. Donald Trump is orange. George Bush Jr. is white. And his father, Bush Sr. is black. And Bill Clinton, you will be green. All right. We clear. Good. Let us begin the placement part of the game. I will, of course, be defending the United States of America, the greatest nation on earth from foreign invaders. But not only that, but the eastern United States is a great place to put a capital since it is easier to defend as it has a lot of provinces surrounding it, which if you own them acts as a meat shield against land invasions. I think I will be starting in Europe in this game simply as I think the middle ground it provides will allow me to make strikes at North America, Africa, and Asia and prevent a player from establishing a safe bonus anywhere in those areas with my attacks. And um, Bush Jr., do you want to explain why you are focusing on the Middle East or? Oh, Lord, not again. Bush, please, it has been like five seconds. YouTube will take the ads away from this video. Please, I beg of you to stop it. Sorry, guys, when I see a Middle East, your boy Bush just can't help but lay his fingers on it. Did he just say your boy Bush? George, what is wrong with your kid? Barbara dropped him on the soft spot when he was a baby more than a few times. We thought we could replace him with Jeb, but then he decided to try and be president and that plan kind of fell apart. So sadly, we are stuck with him. Well, that explains a lot. Now, if only we could solve the mystery of where did those hospitals in Yemen go? Do you have more than one joke to use against me, Donald? The Yemen jokes are getting overused. Okay, would you like me to make fun of the fact you became a multimillionaire as president? Gee, I wonder where the money came from, Mr. President. Honestly, I feel like the IRS should be listening to this voice chat right now. Wait, federal agents are listening. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Hey, guys, you know about that time we never went to Jeffrey's Island, man. I hated that guy. What a weirdo am I, right? Oh, sweet Christ, why, Lord, must you sentence me to be with these people? Hey, we are not all bad. Me, for example, I mean, look at me. I am built like a Greek god. Yeah, the god of the kitchen. You just got mad at me for making drone jokes, and yet here you are making fat jokes. You know what, Donald? That is fair. I am sorry for making a fat joke, and I will stop as long as you stop making drone jokes, all right? All right, guys, the battle is about to begin, so get your popcorn, grab a seat, and let's start with Donald going first. Donald's first turn is over quickly taking one province and failing to take another. However, he does place his capital in a very safe spot and gives himself quite a bit of breathing room. Next up is Bush, who will seemingly spend this turn trying to secure Australia to get the Australian continent bonus. Don't forget that I am expanding into India, where my foolish son is trying to hold out in his precious Middle East. During my turn, I'm going to take over South America to secure an early game bonus and allow myself to build upon. Joe, I wouldn't risk an attack on a capital this early in the game, especially since he has nine troops there and he gets a defensive bonus dice. And Obama stands corrected. Joe easily sweeps Brazil from Clinton, becoming the first player of the game to capture another capital. And shortly after, all of South America falls to Joe Biden, giving him the title of the first player to capture a continent on the same turn. What a massive opening move from Sleepy Joe first round. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like Sleepy Joe took his pills today and will be a real challenge to me yet again. Not to worry, I have studied his pervious strategies and I know what to do. And now we move on to George Bush Jr., who chose to reinforce his armies in the field rather than his capital, which directly borders both Obama and his father now. And he goes on the offensive to capture all of Africa on his turn to gain that continent bonus, just like Joe did. Father, you couldn't even take over Australia. Don't give me crap about being bad at strategy games or being a failure. I know what I'm doing. My son, will you shut up already? The competent, non-special needs adults are talking all right? Listen, you can be a jerk and trash talk, but chill it with the special needs references before YouTube takes us out with the 50 caliber demonetization gun. Yeah, if you keep going on that joke, you're going to wish you were a Kennedy compared to what YouTube is going to dish out for you. Going back to the game, Trump spends his turn securing his North American bonus by invading Greenland, which is held by Obama, who is still a few provinces away from securing his European bonus. However, it seems that is about to change with Obama having a fairly large army of nine units in the United Kingdom ready to strike at the last two provinces that are not under his control in Europe. Considering he is facing armies of only one unit strong in defense, it seems he has this in the bag, meaning that Obama secures the European bonus, granting him his original plan's first stage. We will have to wait to see how he develops his regional advantage and control into actual game-winning victories later on. For our next epic gamer, George Bush Sr. I've got to get rid of Biden's hold on the Philippines this turn, or I may be in a lot of trouble. Well, shit. Despite having a nearly two-to-one advantage, Bush Sr. drops the ball with Lady Luck and is blocked for yet another turn from securing Australia by Biden. Hell yeah, way to go, Sleepy Joe. 
You all really can't just say good job. You have to insult me while doing it. Yes. 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 You guys are the worst, and I hope you all stub your toe, hit your funny bone, and then get hit by a moving bus and die alone. Wow, that was harsh, Joe. Geez, there was no need to go that far. I know what you did in Palm Beach and DC don't pretend to not go too far as well, Obama. Let's just focus on the game, Ben. It's why I am paying you. Anyway, judging on what Bush told me in private message in this turn, he plans to dismantle Joe's stranglehold on South America and take a second capital so he can turn around and use the bonus he gets from the capital to defend his own. Let's see how this bold plan that puts him at odds with someone of similar strength plays out. Did you have a stroke there at the end? No, I just think the creator of our voices in Eleven Labs just forgot to put plays out in the original message, and he ran out of his Eleven Labs characters a day or so ago and doesn't want to pay the extra money to do it again. However, he can upgrade his subscription again if you guys support the channel with Super Chats or donating directly, wink, wink, or simple subscribing would be epic. I know you are new here, but we only beg for money and subs at the end of each video, all right? Just keep that in mind. It doesn't look like Bush's plan worked out fast enough, and now his exposed capital was overrun by Obama's forces. And now Bush is stuck fighting a three-front war he cannot even hope to begin winning. Well, damn it, I took a gamble again and lost bigly. My son lose a war in Iraq? This is unheard of in the history of the Earth. And it looks like we will have our first elimination of the game. Bill Clinton, who went AFK to go meet someone an hour ago, and we have only been hearing a spring bed bouncing on his mic since then. Anyway, congratulations to Jeroge Bush Sr. for getting the first kill of the game. Damn, I was really hoping those cards would allow me to get some bonus armies so I can take out Trump's capital this game. And as the game continues, Bush is pressed farther and farther away from his capital, leaving his fate sealed to defeat within the next few turns, which places Obama in a prime position to secure Africa. However, that will put him in the way of Biden and Bush Sr., which could cause many issues. Good job pointing out there will be issues for this is one of them. Whoa, Bush Sr. out of nowhere launches an aggressive campaign with a two to one advantage seizing the Middle East and what was formerly Bush's capital from Obama and granting him a bonus. This will mean that George becomes the dominant power in Asia with two capitals to provide troops for future offensives, while Biden is the dominant power of the Americas only held back from controlling it by his missions in Africa at this point. There will be no double bonus for Bush Sr. for my name isn't Joe Biden. And I have a plan by taking and holding New Zealand and using my capital as an anchor. I can attack New Zealand over and over while being mostly safe as my capital gives me a defensive bonus. So even if he retakes New Zealand, I can just attack it again while using my capital bonus to anchor myself as any attack would give me a better chance at holding it. A pretty big turn from Biden, preventing Bush Sr. from reaching the double bonus while expanding his reach into South Africa, giving him a foothold at Bush Jr. crumbles and Obama spreads southward. Speaking of big turns, want to see a magic trick? Lads Obama showed me how to make capital cities disappear. So just watch and learn. And a surprising unexpected twist from Donald. He had moved forward and exposed himself. However, he has taken away both of Obama's bonuses, which may give him the advantage in Europe against Obama, despite having much fewer provinces and troops at the moment. Oh, you got to be kidding me, really? That damn wig wearing clown was able to take my capital. Obama spending many tubes to retake his capital, losing eight men to regain it, making him very weak long term. Will it be enough, though, for Trump to swing back in for the win? Or was this only a temporary setback time will tell in this game? All right, my trap is laid and now it is time to pounce. It appears that Joe's anchor plan works out despite taking New Zealand back and having a fairly well-sized force. The quote unquote anchor known as Joe's capital holds out as he is too scared to attack it. However, he strikes instead at Asia, securing the largest continent bonus of the game. Don't worry, guys, I have a plan. Donald, remember that text I sent you? Follow it or we will lose. Remember teamwork for a few rounds, then we fight each other again. Biden returning with his original anchor plan. However, unlike his usual plan, he keeps going and takes Bush Sr.'s capital. Biden is now in control of half of the capitals he needs to hold to win the game, and Bush is stuck in Asia. Great job, Joey, but Donnie has it from here. It's Donnie time. And in two strikes, George Bush Sr. lost his capital and both his Asia and Australian bonus. Bush Sr. is on the run and could be knocked out with a few more well-placed blows like that one. Well placed like this one, Ben. And boom, a surgical blow to Bush yet again. Bush is now limited to only three troops per turn with no capitals and no continent bonus. Not to mention Biden now holds four out of the six capitals to win the game. It's time for the Donnie time blast. And Donald goes on a rampage, plowing through Bush's rear and tearing him to bits province by province. His status as a once glorious leader of the game fallen to the status of his son. No, how is this possible? You see, Dad, you underestimated our friendship and our loyalty to each other. For with the power of friendship, anything is possible. 
You can take out half of Palm Beach, Florida, leaving tens of thousands without homes. You can nearly start a third world war over a game of risk online. And you can come together to impersonate a police officer on a road trip. My point is anything is possible when you have friends, Dad. Ah, uh, crap, I thought the safety was on. Hopefully I didn't hit anyone important. Ow, 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 oh, I was shot in the thigh. God damn it, Donald. Thank God nothing of value was hurt. Power of friendship, my ever. And just like that, Bush Sr. is defeated, meaning technically he outlasted his son. However, this is a big win for Donald. He owns two capitals. However, he can easily secure Asia and Europe's bonus within the next few turns if he plays his cards right. I stand corrected. Donald might be in a lot of trouble. What the hell just happened? I only moved forward one turn. Donald, it's time I finish this once and for all. For all the times you made fun of me, for all the times you were mean, and for all the times you said I was lesser, I call upon 100% of my power for the Biden blast. Biden blast. And Joe takes the sixth capital and wins the game. Joe Biden is the champion of risk. Well, Joey, you earned this outro. Take us out and don't leave us behind, Joey. Great job, Joe. I knew you could do it and now claim your prize and slay that outro. Together forever, Joey. You got this outro, man. All right, here we go. I want to personally thank all of you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. Soon to be 2,000, judging by the speed we are growing at, which is amazing. Thank you for being a wonderful community that comes back every day to watch these silly little videos I make, and it means a lot. I hope you guys have enjoyed our past videos, and I hope you can and will enjoy our next silly videos. Until tomorrow, my friends, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this. Good job, Joe. Yeah, that was great. What are you guys talking about? That was a steaming pile of shit.